I'm speaking today about journal God's voice. And here we have a journal. And we're talking about journaling. And when you look at the Bible, now here's our Bible. You can see this. You don't have to buy it. Bible Hub, Bible Gateway, BibleTools.com, uh, you know, version. It's available on many platforms. The Orthodox Jewish Bible. When you get to chapter 4 of Ruth, you see there's a very dramatic moment when these two relatives of Elimelech, who either one have the right, according to the Torah, to purchase the land that Elimelech uh, sold and moved to Moab, and there he died with his two sons, leaving these three widows. One of them turned around and went back to the world and to the gods of Moab, and she disappears. Her name is, uh, is uh, Orpah. But the other one, Ruth, she comes with Naomi. And uh, now these two widows, they represent two dead men, Elimelech and Malone. And they also represent us because we are dead in trespasses and sins. And we cannot purchase ourselves out of this condition. It's necessary for us to have a kinsman redeemer, a goel, who will agree to make the sacrifice. And the foil here is the unnamed kinsman who said, first he said, yeah, I'll buy the land, no problem. But then when he found out the sacrifice that would be necessary, as far as he was concerned, he was not willing to make the sacrifice. But there was a man from Judah, a rich man in Bethlehem, a Goel, a Redeemer, who is a type, a foreshadow of the Mashiach. Remember, he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Take this cup from me, Lord. But if that's not possible, then I will obey. He prayed. He, there were drops of, of bloody sweat on his forehead. He saw what it was going to cost to make the redemption price. We have to be redeemed by blood. Without the shedding of blood, there's no, there's no remission. Even the lamb had to shed blood to get us out of Egypt. We were slaves. The redemption price was the blood of that lamb. This needs to go in your journal. Lord, never let me forget what it cost my Goel, Gimel, Olive, no, Gimel, Vav, Olive, Lamed. You can even throw some Hebrew in here. Never let me forget what it cost him. And let me hear how much you love us. You showed your love. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only. His one and only goal, Redeemer. Zun fun der Eibister. See this? Zun fun der Eibister. This is the Yiddish way you say the Son of the Most High. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only so that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Thank you, Lord, that we're not going to perish. You have to see that Moab situation that you came out of. How hopeless your life was. And, and then you have to see the great price that it cost the Mashiach to redeem you. Amen.